It's the Samsung Galaxy A55 after four months now of use and one of the most popular phones of the year. It always gets a lot of attention on my channel, a lot of comments, a lot of questions. We're going to be going over some of those as well as some updates to the device itself where I think it lands. But let me tell you something. $355 roughly, you could get it a little bit cheaper, but with that warranty and all the rest, you're looking at 355 bucks. Amazon is going to be your best bet there. When you think about the value at that price point with the rest of the stuff that you can see out in the marketplace, this is one heck of a value and one heck of a phone. Of course, it's not an unlocked release in the United States, so you are going to have some limitations, but it works just fine if you're on today's video partner Mint Mobile. If you're a fan of the channel, you know how much I love Mint Mobile. They're a big part of running this channel, being able to test all these devices out affordably. And right now, you can get their best plan, their unlimited plan, $15 a month for great 5G speeds and coverage. It's tough to beat. You could start saving money today. You could speak to a live human being on the phone. Get yourself a SIM card, a physical SIM card if you need one, or in as little as 15 minutes, you could be set up with an eSIM and get yourself good to go. There are no excuses to not be saving money right now, so you could go ahead, click the link in the description. does help the channel. Absolutely love Mint Mobile, today's video partner. And again, $15 a month. Been using the service for years. I absolutely love it and highly recommend it. So thanks again to today's video partner, Mint Mobile. And we're back. Thanks again to today's video partner, Mint Mobile. Hey, listen, $15 a month. You get that unlimited plan. You can hook it right into your A55 and you're good to go. So let's talk about this device. I got a lot of questions on it. I got a lot of comments. The comment I've gotten recently is about the display, saying, hey, I have an A70. Uh, I, I saw this in the store. I picked one up. Why is it that my older Samsung device has a better display than this newer device? And the, the simple answer is Samsung has kind of changed the color si or color temperature of their displays. It's not a better display on the older device. It's just a less saturated display on the newer device. So that's something that you're going to have to wrap your head around. Plenty of people like the new uh, kind of toned down saturation and vibrancy on the displays. They're still bright. They're still vibrant. They're still crisp. They're still great for content, you know, video and stuff like that's not affected on this device. Everything's going to look the same and look really good on here. You know, gaming still looks fine. It's still a really sharp panel. I think it's one of the sharpest panels I've seen on one of these mid-range devices. So everything there is going to be the same. It's just you're going to be lacking that saturation that, especially with the budget Samsungs from years past, you really had. There's one thing that I would like them to do in a future update. You know, it's the same thing that we got on the Galaxy S S24 Ultra to kind of when people complained about the, the color uh, temperature on the screen, is you could go into here and advanced settings, you had a vibrancy slider or a vividness slider, I should say. So you were able to really crank it up if you wanted that old school Samsung feel. That's something that they could absolutely add back into this device. But otherwise, for $350, this is really something great. We're going to throw up a camera image here. They've changed it a little bit. It's not as soft as it has been. The colors are still natural. The colors are still the same. But they've made the, the photos, the images on there are a little sharper. So it's a better camera, I think, now. It's just that you've still, you're still going to deal with those natural tones. But you could pump that up after the fact. You, you could send the, uh, put the saturation up, put the vibrancy up, whatever you want after, after in photo editing. You could do that. So if you, if you like the more natural look of the photos, that's fine. But early on in this, in this device's life, you really had a situation where the, the colors were just drab. So it's not as drab, they're natural, and it's a sharper image. I'm not having that softness to the image that I first had when I first got this device. Micro SD card expandable storage. That's really not something you see at even $500 price ranges anymore. Companies are going away from that. This is one of the last most powerful Samsung devices you can buy brand new that has expandable storage, which is important for a lot of people. Battery life, you can't beat it. Uh, you can't beat it at almost any price range. Over eight hours of screen on time without breaking a sweat, and it is eight hours of screen on time that you're actually going to want to use. 
There's plenty of budget phones that could go nine hours, ten hours because they have a budget processor and it's just a miserable experience. That is not the case with the Galaxy A55. The Exynos 1480 is exactly where it needs to be. I know everybody sits there and cries about Exynos, but let me tell you something. This is a really nice performing device. You get good gaming. The overheating and the heating issues that you had in previous Exynos uh, chipsets not affecting the A55. So you get good performance, especially at the mid-range. You get good heat management. You get good power efficiency. You get good gaming and overall good performance. So it's a, it's a really, really attractive package when you're talking about 350 bucks. 8 gigs of RAM also really helps out. Caches a lot of the home screen. The UI feels snappy. You're getting those updates. This is running the July patch for One UI 6.1. you got Android 14 on here. you got five years of security updates coming your way, including four years of major updates of Android. So you're going to have a One UI for many years to come on this device with those optimizations and everything that comes along with that. There's the phenomenal build, which is basically feels like a flagship build. If you pick up this phone and you told me $350 when I first got it, I would have said you're nuts. There's just something about it that the, it's the brushed aluminum sides. It's just, a, it's just a really solid feel to this device. The glass front and back, it's a premium device. A lot of people said that the reason why Samsung held this back in the United States and did not give this a proper launch like the A54 is that they're holding it back because they're going to put a Snapdragon in it and release it as the S24 FE. They could do that. The problem is the pricing then changes significantly. They're going to put a Snapdragon in this and charge you 600 bucks like last year. And to me, you know, much like the S23 FE, there were so many other devices, really competitive devices at $600 that it made it a tougher recommendation where I don't feel like you're picking up that much on a Snapdragon that you're not already getting here for the Exynos 1480. So take advantage of the fact that you're getting enough power and saving all that money in the process. That, to me, is the most important part of this package, and that's something you shouldn't forget. So even if Samsung were to put a new engine in this and release it as the SE, uh, the FE later in the year, October, I'm not totally sold on it as much as I am right now having the Exynos 1480 in there. That's the other thing. You know, if, if you're on Mint Mobile, right, okay, if you have a compatible carrier that'll run the A55, there's really less need to look at something like the A35. That's why I had questions about the A35 on its release, 400 bucks, like even 350 on sale. You're looking at the thir- Exynos 1380. You're, yes, it's a nice phone. It's got the build. It's got a lot of other things on it. But this is a device that, you know, you got the P-OLED display here. You got the plastic. So that way you have the, 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 the symmetrical bezels around this device. I think you have that actually on the, on the A35 as well. But the point is that you're getting a much better engine here. The 1380 was really good. I had no problem with it in the A54. Ran well. But if you can get, spend 350 bucks and get yourself a 1480, I think you're getting an even smoother experience for right around the same money. You pick up the extra RAM, uh, you, you, you pick up that RAM, you pick up the expandable storage. There's a lot to like about this device in that price range, as long as you know what you're getting going in. But overall, you know, it, it's, it's, the, it's the most commented on device for a reason. It's always one of my most viewed devices on the channel every single year. And that's because it's interesting. You get one UI, you get a full fledged one UI experience. It's not Galaxy AI, okay? Circle the search engine here. Uh, you do get Samsung Knox, which is something that previously wasn't on the A-series devices. So understand there are some limitations there. But then again, you're not paying $1,000. You're not paying $600. You're paying $350 for a phone that if you don't really need AI, you can always download Gemini or whatever, the Google AI, and you can have ChatGTP on here. So you're not going to be completely devoid of AI. But if you are somebody who wants a, that one UI experience, wants a representative, really good One UI experience, but it's a, oh, it's a solid flagship feel in the hand and a smooth, gorgeous OLED display with uh, you know, crisp 1080p. Content's going to look great. Cameras are coming along. Battery life is out of this world. There's plenty of things to like here on this particular device. So thanks again to today's video partner, Mint Mobile. Click the link in the description. does help the channel. And uh, get yourself an A55. I think you're really going to like it if you've been on the fence so far. Can't beat that price. 350 bucks. Really, really tough to beat that value. If you've made it this far, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Until next time, have that Steve Lish's day.